Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I guess if you want to start an off-road channel, you need to go get an off-road vehicle. So let's go get us one. We're going to go on a little road trip. Well, here's the new off-road vehicle. The Honda Pioneer 1000-5 Trail Edition. So let's get it on the trailer. Let's get it home. Okay, so we've got the uh, Pioneer home. It's in the shop. We had to drive around on it a little bit. As soon as I unloaded off the trailer, Mom come out of the house and wanted to go for a ride. And then, then she wanted to drive it. And then Dad wanted to drive it. So uh, it is a little bit wet. Got a little bit of mud on it already. But that's okay because that's what it's for. So do a quick walk around here of it. Under the hood here in the front, you've got your battery, air breather. There's a foam filter in here that you need to uh, make sure it doesn't get packed with dust and leaves and things like that off the trail. So everything's really nice and taped up and heat shrinked. They do a really nice job on these. And then you have your uh, radiator here in the front. You have your overflow tank for the radiator. Put that back on want to make sure that that hooks and latches in there get that latched and then you want to tug on it because you don't want that flying off going down the road so this does have doors they latch they got a latch in here uh, it's got the side screens um, under the seat here let me get it popped up oh here it is so under the seat you do have some storage areas for some small things and you have some large storage area right here you put ratchet straps and stuff like that for your winch you know extra snatch block or something like that can go in there it's kind of hard doing this one-handed so on the dash here we have turf mode we have four-wheel drive and we have two-wheel drive the turf modes for driving out in the yard it unlocks the rear end so it's not tearing the grass up got our headlight switch this has sport mode and it's got automatic transmission mode so when it's in sport mode you can paddle shift it up and down just kind of it's kind of like a honda rancher uh, with the electric shift uh, that's what i grew up with um, you've got your park reverse neutral high and low uh, that's this shifter here got your winch in and out you've got a light on the floor that was an option in this one and then you have an extra switch here you have a full digital dash really nice tilt steering wheel it does have power steering which is super cool you have a nice glove box over here that you can put stuff in and that's actually got a nice seal on it so keep dust out Wilson approves you have plenty of storage under here that you can put things like a little first aid kit you can throw your phone down in there put all kinds of stuff in there we'll move to the back and the cool thing about the pioneer is it is a more of a utility uh they've got the talon and they've got the pioneer the talon is more sport the pioneer is more utility but it's still sport at the same time so uh same engine transmission they're uh, both 1000s. The Talon is a 1000. Well, Zach's Talon is a 1000, but I think they're smaller Talons. But anyways, open this side door here. And this is what's really cool. We got mud in here last night. I got to get door seals for it. There are aftermarket door seals. You flip this up, and you have a four-seater now. Flip that down. And now I have a four-seater. So when we go to uh, tractor shows and things, mom and dad can go with, and uh, they can sit in the back. They are actually talking about buying the talon that matches this one. Flip that up when you don't want a seat no more. Hook it in there. Come around here. There's a little latch here. Flip that latch. Let that fold back down. And also, I forgot, when you have this flipped up, you pull the seat belt down, and uh, you have a seat belt back here. Go ahead and shut this. 
That's not all the way down. Shut that. Leave these unclipped. Come over here. Pull this. And now you have a dump bed. So, one thing I am going to get for this, now I am going to get several accessories for this, but uh, one thing I want to get is I want to get the rubber floor mat that goes in here, or bed mat, so it seals up all these cracks, so if you're hauling small things, they don't fall through the cracks. It does have a tailgate. I really like these tailgate latches. Unlatch tailgate. Flip it down, flip it back up, relatch it. It's got a uh, two inch hitch receiver under there. There's a lot of cool things about this. Uh, now this one, it came factory with the Warren winch already installed. And I did add, I added the roof for it. Um, I was told by several people, including my friend Zach, to get the OEM Honda roof for it because they fit very nicely compared to some of the aftermarkets. And I do like how it come down the sides and sealed everything up. So uh, we do have a windshield on its way. Uh, we got that from Reaction Off-Road. So the windshield should be here Tuesday and uh, we'll do a separate video on putting accessories on this. So let me get the tripod set up and I'm gonna talk to you about my reasoning for purchasing this machine. Another thing I really like about this is all the space inside. I'm six foot two and I fit in here great. I mean, there's plenty of room in here. It's like an SUV of the, of the uh, side-by-sides. So uh, there are multiple reasons why I bought this. Um, number one reason is Madison and I wanted to go on some adventures. We wanted to uh, take it out, do some trail riding with our friends Zach and Kayla, and then Zach and Zach's mom and dad have one, and uh, they all go together, and now I've about got my mom and dad talked into buying one, so we can all go together as a large family and go do trips and see different parts of different states. Uh, it's great to just get out in the wilderness and see all the natural beauty. And uh, you can actually go quite a few places without, you know, long trips. Like, you can go up into Michigan. There's a couple spots that we're going to go. And then, like, we can do day trips and just go down to the Badlands here in Indiana. So there's, we can go a lot of places have a lot of fun without going for, you know, long road trips to get there. Because obviously you got to haul them if you're going to go anywhere far. Uh, they are street legal to an extent. Uh, you have to check your local laws and regulations for driving them on the roads. But as far as I know, in our county, you just can't go in city limits. Um, I will get the tags for it to make it street legal. Um, and then I can drive it wherever I want on rural roads. Just no going into town with it. So it's going to be a lot of fun things we can do. We can go drive around Bass Lake, things like that. Go get ice cream in the summertime, you know. And, and just enjoy it. Um, I am going to be using it for work. Uh, I will be putting a hitch on this, a hitch on my planter, and a hitch on my seed tender so I can be more independent when I plant beans. I'll be able to use this to help me move from field to field. I won't have to bother my mom for a ride. Uh, she can concentrate on helping my dad plant the corn. Um, so that'll be really nice. Because it never fails, you know, I'll get to a field, I'll fill the planter up, I'll get to the field, start planting, and I'll have a chain break, or I'll have a tire issue, or I'll have a disc opener issue, or something like that, and I'll need to get my truck there so I can fix it. Well, a lot of times I'll be five or six miles from my truck, and I'll have to call mom and say, hey, can you come give me a ride so I don't fold the planter all up and drive all the way back to the truck. Well, this way, this will be sitting on the ends of the field already, because I'll pull in the field and unhook it. I can hop in this. Go get my truck, hook this behind the truck, and take it back to the field with me. Or I'll probably I'll probably put some tools back here. Nice thing about having it covered all the way back 
is my tools won't get wet if I got some seed back there if we're planting corn it won't get wet if there's a pop-up shower in the summertime so it's also going to be used in the excavating uh, when we do some tiling we'll be able to throw tile fittings back there laser equipment shovels whatever we need or if we're doing ditch work I can put chainsaws back there I can drive along some of these muddy ditches in fact um, weather conditions have been so terrible that everything's been so wet that I've done nothing but trash my tool truck out because of all the mud that I've had to take you through to get to different places to work. So it would be nice to be able to use this. Um, so the new channel that I created when I got hacked, I've actually renamed it. And uh, that channel is going to cover the off-road adventures that Madison and I go on and Zach and Kayla. Um, we're going to be doing things on there with these side-by-sides and I've, I've always been an avid ATV rider and you'll probably see some ATV stuff on there it's just that I've never really showed any of that on the channel you know a lot of Sundays I'll hop on a four-wheeler and go for a ride for a while but I've never really showed that on the channel but now I'm going to and that's all going to be on dirt grain steel off-road uh, you'll see that I had changed that name and I rewrote the description talking about what we're going to do on that channel so you'll see a lot of the upgrade things that I'm going to do to this on that channel. And I will probably cross post them to Dirt Grain and Steel uh, just because this machine will be used on the farm and in the excavating. So you're going to see it anyway. So I'll probably share them on there, especially when we put like the hitch on it to show how we did it to share with other farmers and uh, other, you know, excavators and things like that that are already watching my channel since not everybody is on the new channel. Uh, so it'll be a little cross posting, hopefully nobody gets upset. Um, but I know some of you say the more videos the better. Uh, getting back to the whole weather situation, I've actually got a lot of videos started for Dirt Grain and Steel that cover our normal, every day, our, our normal scheduled programming that we've always got on that channel. But being the weather's been so nasty, I haven't been able to finish the jobs to get any closure on those videos. So as soon as conditions turn around, I'll be able to get the jobs finished, get them videos up. So there'll be quite a few videos popping up all at once. Um, in fact, we're in the middle of a heavy equipment rescue right now, and the D8H is actually working on that project. So a lot of people have been asking about the Caterpillar D8H dozer. Have we been using it? Yes, we have, and that thing is an absolute brew. So uh, we've been using it to pull um, this machine out, um, and it it likes to break one-inch cables. It's pretty impressive. Uh, that We're actually waiting on getting some more cable slings to pull with, and uh, then we're gonna try to pull again. So uh, the D8H is being used, the 270's also on that project too. So, a lot of stuff coming to the original channel, but just to let you know, we are going to move forward with the new channel, Dirt Grain and Steel Off-Road. But don't worry, I'm, my Dirt Grain and Steel, the original channel, is still my main channel. It's, uh, it's going to get the most videos. Uh, like I said, the Dirt Grain and Steel Off-Road channel, it, it might only see a few videos maybe every month every couple months. It's not like it's going to be as active as my original channel uh, because there's not going to be as much content on this stuff uh, because I'm not going to be doing this all the time. It'll be leisure time stuff. So, and you know, I don't get to take a vacation all that often. So keep watching me at Dirt Grain Steel. Um, but if you want to watch the new channel, head over to Dirt Grain Steel Off-Road. Um, in fact, I'll just throw a link for it in the description below on this video, and uh, this video will also be on that channel. I'll stop there because I'm just confusing everybody. So uh, I well, let's put it this way: I will have two channels. I'm going to have two channels. So, um, and I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun doing that. Um, so, anyways. I would take you for a ride on this today, but it's raining and without a windshield, it, it, I get wet really quick, you can imagine. So uh, we're not gonna go on a ride, but uh, we will go on a ride here pretty soon and uh, we'll make videos of that. So anyways, thank you for watching, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, 
keep watching because things are only going to get more exciting on both channels. Well, the original channel for sure because planting season's coming up. So I'm excited. I'm ready to do some bean planting with the new planter. And uh, we might be actually getting a newer corn planter. So we'll see what happens. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.